Who dat? Did you know the phrase "Who dat" was first used by Herman Melville in his 1851 novel *Moby Dick*? It's true. The phrase became the cheer for rabid Saints fans when their beloved pro football franchise, a perennial loser in the NFL, started winning. The cheer among Saints fans was, "Who dat say they gonna beat them Saints? Who dat? Who dat?" Shortly after the Saints Super Bowl victory, the owner of the New Orleans Saints, Tom Benson, tried to claim ownership of Who Dat, and he threatened lawsuits against small businesses such as T-shirt vendors for infringing on his property. Apparently, the matter still has not been resolved, with fans and small businesses arguing the cheer was used by high school football fans many, many years before the Saints came into existence. However, who dat predates even those claims? In chapter sixty-four of Moby Dick, which is titled "Stubbs' Supper," whalers lash a dead whale to the side of their vessel, and sharks, picking up the scent of the bleeding carcass, bang roughly against the side of the ship. This leads Stubbs, an officer on the whaling vessel who is eating a whale steak, to call in Fleece. The old black cook from Alabama. In the comical episode, Stub orders Fleece to preach to the hungry sharks to be more Christian and hold down their racket. With lantern in hand, Fleece looks down into the night waters and calls out to the sharks, "Who dat?" In other words, the phrase "Who dat?" was in the public domain long, long before the NFL. And its multi-billionaire franchise owners tried to lay their sticky fingers on it. You've been listening to the Bayou Picayune podcast. For more information and additional content, go to davidpearson.net, or pick up my books and Lead Us Not and Bayou Da Vinci on Amazon or any other major online retailer. If you like what you hear on the podcast, please subscribe and give me a review. Thanks for listening.